So we're here with Wendy Schaefer, who's been overseas most of last year, but she's come back to Australia. Came back in November um, for the Australian three-day event in Adelaide, which of course is her hometown. So Wendy, how, what was it like to be back for the first HSBC Classic Series yeah. in Australia? It's always awesome to be back in Australia, so back with your home um, sort of family and support team and so forth, and really exciting to be back for the first HSBC Classic in Adelaide. Uh, this year was uh, special for many reasons. Um, foremost to have the uh, sport on the international stage and being part of the uh, six event series um, that's in the HSBC Classics. Um, and then the second part that was really exciting was to be back at the event in front of the Heritage Grandstand, which is in the process of being um, done up. And it was really nice to have a, a central sort of area for competition, uh, the ambience of that. We had the cross country start and finish there, around, you know, VIP tents around there. And it really gave a great feel that this is sort of the home of the event. We sort of now felt we were back home in front of that Heritage Grandstand, so that, that was super and really exciting. I suppose personally from my point of view, I just had one horse in the um, CCI two-star class, uh, so disappointing I suppose not to be able to uh, defend my four-star mm -hmm. title, uh, but that was the decision I'd made earlier in the year when I was like, a little short on horsepower um, in uh, Europe and the UK, and I decided to fly Sundancer over in July uh, to contest the Po four-star, which is, uh, was this year actually the beginning of the 212 series. Mm -hmm. um, in the south of France and uh, while you know, it was disappointing not to have him in Adelaide it was also a wonderful opportunity to be able to compete in France at the for the very first time. So yeah, mixed feelings I suppose at Adelaide. I had um, a reasonable ride on a young horse in the two star I finished 12th which wasn't anything to write home about but was more about giving her some good miles and I'm hoping that she'll be the four star horse for me at Adelaide in the future. Yeah. And is that the same horse that you took to Lakes and Craters this year too? Actually it wasn't, I had a no? different okay, one at Lakes and Craters. I possibly hoped to take her on to Lakes and Craters mm -hmm. to upgrade to three star, but she'd had some uh, foot issues prior to Adelaide and really as it panned out I was really lucky to get through Adelaide and still have her sound the next day. Uh, so I took to Lakes and Craters a young homebred horse oh, who's um, a yeah, lovely boy, surprise, he's been named. Um, and we didn't actually, the mayor had uh, pre-tested uh, twice negatively and um, we had her sort of farmed out with a friend to retire and she's, oh, she's looking well, she's looking well and then suddenly she produced a foal. So, uh, that so is, it was a surprise. That it was a surprise and he's a lovely big boy, um, part warm blood, um, so there's a lot of him and I took a little bit steady on the cross country to, um, literally it's like having a big Mack truck I suppose heading down here. We had to put your exhaust brakes on early um, and you want to sort of head down to that bottom um, complex and be out of control and not because he'd be too fast but just, just too downhill I suppose. Uh, but he, would, he did great, he was um, yeah, fifth in his very first one star competition so I was very proud of him. And I suppose when you breed them and produce them all the way along, it's quite exciting too. So both the horses have come home to a, a home base that it started, so that's great. And it was yeah, just super to be back competing in Australia and um, having a lot of fun with you know, everyone I know and, and support here. And, and seeing so many top Australian riders has been very exciting for next year. Yeah. And so over Christmas you're going to have a rest or are you going to be working the young horses or yeah, practicing? What are you doing? Yeah, so I've got a group of young horses, um, some four year olds, some really nice um, guys that I'm hoping will be you know, my future for beyond uh, London. Um, so certainly in, um, reasonably intense with training with them, but also going to take the opportunity to um, spend a few days in Tasmania with my partner who's been it's a very long suffering or long distance anyway, um, but I've been overseas the last six months. And I've just spoken with, um, I suppose, the equestrian or dressage guru um, Heath Ryan and perhaps to sp spend a few days with him um, up in uh, Sydney. I've got to go and pick up um, one of my horses that I'd taken over to England who unfortunately was injured. I would now put her in fall and she's back to Australia so I've got to pick her up out of quarantine so we'll look to spend some time with uh, Heath and so I think he's the only... A dressage boot camp? Yeah, pro I think that's realistically the way yeah. it's going to be and, and Heath was discussing with me how painful it would be and all those sort of things but I think um, he's probably the only one crazy enough and has enough <laughs> horses in um, so that he can probably you know, give me the opportunity to ride some horses and things and um, perhaps as we put it, yeah, focus more on the dressage rather than my jumping which I you know, enjoy and find easier. Yeah. And then after that, in February time, back to Europe? Yeah, back to Europe. What's yeah. the plans? Well, at this stage, I'd need to gain my eventing qualification still with my little debacle in the show jumping at uh, Poe, uh, where I was unfortunately eliminated and falling off by uh, some dancer there, so he needs to go to badminton to get his qualification. I'm potentially hoping to also compete um, in Fontainebleau in France as a lead up to badminton. I'm a bit concerned that the uh, spring in England could be very wet and boggy and not so interested in competing him there. And I suppose he's such an experienced horse now, he doesn't need to have many runs particularly. Um, it's just sort of having a one 
one good hit out and then to go to badminton is the hope. Um, and then just to complicate matters, potentially I have a, a selection trial for my jumping mare who did gain her um, qualification for London at the uh, Lumen um, Four Star Show where we had our Nations Cup debut and had a clear round of my first Nations Cup in the, um, my London qualification. So uh, potentially the first jumping selection trial would just be days after badminton uh, in Austria. So yeah, a few logistics to work out there, but um, I'm very hopeful of being able to uh, contest selection trials in both sports at this point in time. Right. Well, it was lovely to see you home, lovely to see you back, but all the best for next year and we'll be following you on the blog and um, good luck. Yes, thank you very much. It's a uh, playful.